Well, hi there, this is Chase Swift, and in this video, I really want to show off Keynote as a wonderful tool to work with images and create a kind of a nice uh, style and look for maybe a, a logo, maybe a YouTube header image, or maybe a thumbnail for a YouTube video, all those types of things. You want to be creative and have some fun and, and look good too. And so what I am doing is running Keynote on my Mac. And uh, this is the final image. So let me go through and show you how I made that. Um, and by the way, I do have a YouTube channel called Five Free Tools, which that is, you know, this image would be kind of for that. Uh, so let's go through here. Now, top left, you have a view option. And what I'm doing is only looking at the slide, which is a really nice view. If I want to see my other slides, I can just click on the navigator. And we'll just go up one and we'll choose the white background because I started with the white background. And I'll just go back and just to eliminate confusion, I'm going to click slide only. So I see only the white background. Now I want to bring in a shape, uh, wonderful tools up here. Everything is just awesome. But I'm going to bring up a shape and I'm going to bring in a perfectly round circle. I'm just make it a little bigger. What I want to do is insert a photograph in inside the circle so it looks like a, a perfectly round cutout. I'll just move it over to the side. Now, your menu is pretty darn easy. Uh, you have a format, animate, document. Animate is if you're animating a, a uh, presentation. Format is just uh, basically for working with images and graphics and text and things like that. So, within the format, Tab, there are three options and really if you just look at these in a few minutes of playing around you'll figure them out <clears throat> so in this case I want to go to my fill and change it from advanced to an image I want to put an image right in here and have a perfectly round circle around me so I'm just going to go to and I'm going to choose scale to fit but that means the edges of the picture will fit right in there awesomely so I'm going to choose and pick this image, which is a about a 900 pixel by 900 pixel square image. Well, I'm going to make it a, a crop with a circle around it. So I'll click and open. Boom. Side to side is perfectly filled and, and top to bottom. It looks just great. Okay. So it's going to fill in there perfectly every time. So that's looking good. I want to leave. I want to have a little drop shadow. In fact, I'll just bring up my other one and we can look back. That drop shadow just adds <clears throat> an air of three dimensions that this is floating on top. So that's really easy to do. Just click once on the image to select it. On the right hand side, you see drop shadow. Now it's on, it's not doing very much. Um, and maybe because last time I had a very faint. But offset, you can just play with this. Offset moves the shadow off or behind and kind of like the sun is casting a shadow you can also change the uh, angle and as i go around and around the um the shadow is going around and around so i'm going to have it lower right i think just like that okay maybe like that now it's offset a little bit i'll pull that back so what you see is what you get now i want to have that blurred a little bit more it's a little too sharp so I'm just going to blur that edge, and you can really blur it. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just want a soft blur, about like that. Okay, so we're making progress. We have a nice circle image, and let's bring in uh, let's bring in the text. Well, actually, let's bring in the background because it really helps see things. So we have a kind of a dark black to blue gradient. So let me show you that. So nothing is selected. So really, the only thing we see is format. You have to click on something to see the format for that image. We're, we want the background, so we're going to leave it white, and we're under format, and here it is, color fill. Now I want a gradient, so I just go to gradient fill, boom. Now this was what it was just uh, seconds ago, but you can change the gradient to any color. You can actually flip the gradient just by hitting these arrows and flip it. You can also change the gradient this way, or around and around. <laughs> Um, and if you're not exactly right, you can type in. Is that right? Yeah. No, that's the. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Let's see what 90 is. Okay. And then I can flip it and be 180. Okay. So there we go. Um, let's go back to the blue though. 
and just pick the color and I'm going to flip it one more time. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. Doesn't it really stand out? It's a really nice sharp image. Dark blue background is, is making these really, really stand out. That's great. So now let's go ahead. What do we need? We need the uh, text. Okay, so we'll bring that in. And let's bring it on. I'm going to close just to eliminate confusion. This, just to look at the view of the slide. I'm going to get rid of this menu. Because a lot of it we can do just here. So I'm going to bring up a text box. It will come in as black. And I can imagine, immediately go to format. And let's change it to yellow on the text. Okay. And I'm going to make a bold just to stand out. Now a little trick is sometimes you don't know what the font size should be. So I use the command key and the plus, and every time I hit command plus, it just gets bitter, bigger. If I hold it down, it just grows, and I'm like, that's good enough. Maybe a little bit too big, I'll make it small. Okay, um, that looks pretty darn good. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to style. Actually, I want to type in what I really want to say. This is five, three, cool. This is the name of my YouTube. Uh, channel and so let me move that off to the side these yellow um, grids really help you horizontally uh, put everything together too um, now let's click you know nothing is really over here except for the background slide layout clicking on the text changes the menu quite a bit um, and let's go ahead and put a border and I put a line and it shared, uh, the last time I shared this, and normally the line is just a black line that is yellow, okay, but it's, that looks kind of boring to me. I want a little more, I don't know, a little more contemporary look. So instead of a straight line, I'm gonna choose this kind of chalk um, gradient there, maybe it's gradated, you know, it just looks like chalk, okay? That's looking great. And I'm gonna do a reflection. If you don't know what this is, boom. You just hit it and it begins to reflect like this is sitting on glass okay and that is looking pretty awesome you can change the reflection you can intensify it or make it more subtle kind of like kind of like it right there i think the opacity will drop the opacity of everything in the text okay i'm going to leave that at 100. Uh, you can experiment with some things here but i'm pretty well uh, happy with that now what I want to do is kind of kind of decide how close I want this to the image. It's actually over the image. We don't want that. But something like that. And then I'm thinking uh, I want those both centered. So what I'll do is drag a box. I start up high and I just connect one, two. Then I have them both selected. By both of them being selected, if I click on one, I can move them both. And what you're seeing um, there's a horizontal, there's a horizontal guide, this is a vertical guide, if I bring them down together it'll be perfectly centered, okay? That is pretty nice. Now, at this point you could take a screenshot or you could use a little tool that captures your screen and if you want a certain uh, size, you know, that would be a great, you know, you, you want to make sure you get the right size. And you're given dimensions. I'm actually using a cool tool called Snagit. And you can look at, up Snagit on the internet. It's actually a free tool. It allows you to get the size of the dimensions. So if you're making a YouTube header or a background image or um, a, a Facebook uh, background or whatever, you can see the exact size, uh, the pixel dimensions of that image. So you can get it exactly right, and if you just get it where you want, you can re-center everything. You kind of have to visually do it this way, and I'll do it like that. So then you could have a real quick image. Okay, so I have an image floating on the top, and I have my keynote program in the back. So it's kind of cool. I use this quite a bit, and now I could just save this to the internet or save it to my hard drive. I have a really cool background, uh, formatted, cool image with a great background and a nice text area. And uh, all I did was have to use Keynote uh, to create this. 
So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped. I'll be doing other videos on uh, Keynote, which is one of my favorite programs. And uh, so if you want to subscribe, it'd be a great opportunity. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. Have a great day and hope you're enjoying Keynote as much as I do. Bye for now.